Hey there everybody, it's Wayne DeFrancesco. Welcome to the website, WayneDeFrancesco.com. We're looking at Patrick Reed. He's got three wins uh, recently. Playing some great golf and uh, there's no lack of confidence. He has proclaimed himself a top five player. I would suggest that you're in the top five when you're ranked fifth or better. So he's on his way, and certainly he's probably currently playing better than some of the guys that are ranked ahead of him, but uh, if he keeps playing this good, it won't be long. So let's take a look at his swing. It's really, really interesting. So what we first see is a pretty classic backswing progression, slightly cupped wrist. Uh, neutral grip, a nice face. You can see the right arm flaring a little bit. I'm going to bounce around. I got a bunch of uh, swings off of this particular telecast. You can see a slight lowering, a little depth in the hips. So, like I said, pretty classic. Started it. 51, so the hands are a little bit under the belt, which is pretty common. Uh, 8 and 5. So we got just a average uh, progression. The hands working a little bit more down than out. The right arm staying more up than driving in. not real back up at the head and the hips are staying back really nicely and this is where it gets real interesting you can see the approach is if the address position had a higher shaft uh, he'd be pretty close to right on the shaft plane there but now it's really this hip movement that keeps him way way deep and we're gonna when we look at the swings where he swings a little bit harder we're gonna see it's real interesting his footwork. When he doesn't hit the ball hard, his feet are pretty quiet. So watch, watch the the left foot here. So you can see it. You can see it right there, digging into the edge of his foot. But the foot is not physically changing position. So this is a kind of a knockdown iron shot on a par three. Now, even though this is a knockdown. A little cutoff shot. You can see that the crossover in the handle, and that's something we're going to focus on here in a second, because that's real different. Also, now you might consider that uh, sort of difficult to time, but as we know, golf is a timing game. So here's a good face-on view that uh, TV had to kind of ruin a little bit by. <laughs> putting that thing up. They were kind of looking at Mayhan, but uh, that's focusing it on Reed. But it's a good, uh, it's a good look at the at the back swing. A tiny little, you can see it, tiny little right load to start. Nice wide position. Left arm real straight. You know, for a burly guy. He can really move in the in the forward swing. Now this is the driver, and it's he's going to have a little bit of lateral. You so you can see it. It's kind of annoying with that leaderboard popping up, but you can see the some lateral shift there. But more so than some guys, he's going to be a little more right side as he hits this ball, and you can see the head just sort of pop backwards a little bit. Another thing that you you see fairly often. So let's run through some uh, some swings. I got this one because it was interesting. I wanted to see the uh, the full routine. So let's take a look here. And this is pretty common amongst uh, really good players. You can see when he's rehearsing, these swings aren't full and hard. That kind of wears you out. Very few guys take hard practice swings, and with that release, 
where the club turns over and the hands turn over. He's really practicing just arcing the club around, back and forth. So he lets go with the left. He's got it in the right. So we want to notice how long it takes him once he takes that first step, when he takes the grip. Uh, these are all interesting things that uh, is part of the plan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now that's pretty quick. A nine count from first step. It's kind of what Darren Clark did in the British Open when he won. And most guys are more 12 to 14 or 15 and stand over it a little bit longer. So this is kind of interesting. If you watch the grip, he's not going to take it till he gets over to the ball. So he's going to walk over right hand, right hand, right hand. Aim the face. Still isn't gripping it yet. Left hand. So the grip is you know sort of embedded in his brain he just puts his left hand on it and he, boom he's got it there's no real thought of placement there so this is something that you develop over time in serious practice so now he's going to give it a rip so it's so you can see it if he's looking he's looking at the target now he's looking at the ball he looks up once one waggle two waggles one look go. So it's a pretty good picture of the fullness of this backswing. The guys on TV were describing it as a pause at the top. Um, it's definitely a full move and a, and a float up there. So if we're looking at the first move, it's an interesting move. You can see the right leg pull back a little bit. And since the right hip is turned as much as it is when it moves forward, there's going to be some rotation back toward the ball, but he's going to really keep the leg inward. So the camera angle is kind of off to the ball target line here. And you can see he regularly aims a little bit to the right, favors the right to left shot. And if the camera were back where his feet were facing, you'd see his knees would probably be even by now. Now this is something that most of these, a lot of burly guys look like. The right arm is relatively in front, but it's never going to look as, as driven in as a skinny guy. So the shaft is nicely flattening here. Now this is really a key move for him. Watch the left. So you can see the weight is really going back into the heel. And as he hits this driver, he's going to extend. Now I've got a nice slow-mo of that, of that release with the right wrist and forearm, so we'll see that in a second. Now watch the left leg. So a complete change of position in the left foot. So here's a little close-up of that and here's a, a nice <laughs> a nice look at this release. But look at that look at the approach. Beautiful. Now watch this right hand and forearm. Now you've seen this before and a lot of times that right hand will come completely off the club with uh, if you look at a player like VJ um, couples so you can see the right arm forearm just straightening hard and turning over you see the muscles in the arm look at the bend in that wrist right here so now you might wonder down the road, is that putting any undue stress in that hand? If we, uh, if we take a look and see a little different, uh, it's a different type of release. Now, of course, this is an iron. That's Tiger. So 
So that's going to look absolutely nothing like this. <laughs> right? Look at this. His wrist is this way. His wrist is that way. Anyway, it's just amazing the different techniques that that you can use. And you can look at Tiger's feet thrusting in there. So Reed is much, much more flat or back on his right with the left really whipping out of the way. So you can see that foot. That's pretty amazing. If you're looking right here. <laughs> now, Patrick Reed is not the only guy in history to ever do this. Check this out. Here's our buddy. Johnny Miller. Oops, you got the and here's an iron shot. So that's hip depth and clearing hard. I mean you can't <laughs> can't clear much harder than that, can you? And if you look at Reed over here, he's doing the same thing. Okay, now the interesting thing, if you watch Reed again, when he's not hitting it hard, his foot doesn't do that, but he's definitely getting a lot of weight over there to hit the iron shot. But if you if you watch him hit a, a longer iron shot, this is a shorter one again, so the foot stays. See if I can find uh, if I can find that one. Maybe this one. Let's see. Yeah. So I think this was on a par five, and he's really ripping it. Watch the foot. There it goes. So it has a ton to do with how much speed he wants to produce in the swing, whether or not he's going to let that foot go back and I don't think there's a plan to that at all. Now another thing you'll note here, look at the openness of the face up there. You can really see it up against the sky right uh, right here. You can see that face is almost straight down so you know the grip is not super strong. The uh, wrist is slightly cupped and that face is straight down. Kind of reminds you of a Calcavecchia kind of look nice flattening, look at that shaft flatten but it's really that uh, that release that's so cool let's take a look at a couple other swings So, you know, they made some good comments on television. It's a sort of an unhurried motion, kind of, kind of like that. And the guy certainly believes in his ability because he wore black and red, and as my uh, good friend Mark uh, Long used to caddy for Freddie Funk, uh, and has seen all the guys we text sometimes when. Uh, telecast is on he said he said check out Reed he said you know this guy may have the guts it takes to to really do something here because he's dressed in <laughs> black and red and he's and he warmed up right next to Tiger but again the the uh, the really cool thing is that is the way the the way the club turns over to hit the ball with all of his shots. Now, so the question is, in a in a timing move like this, it's working great now. Is it going to drift back into where it's not quite as uh, consistent, or, or, or what's going to happen? But it's going to be fun to watch. All right, so. Patrick Reed. 
There you go.